Well, hello everyone, welcome back to Life of Wonders, welcome back to my channel. My name is Polo and I love making videos of tall stories in Disney collectibles among other things. So if you like this kind of content, you already know what to do. Today we're going to be doing the whole unboxing and detailed review of this Disney fairy tale designer collection couple that is Mulan and Li Shang. Um, they were released in the year 2014, so it's been a minute and um and I'm super happy to finally take him uh taking them out of the box I've been displaying them for um, a very long time just you know as they come uh but right now I'm I'm actually interacting so much more with my dolls and I'm actually uh sharing my passion with all of you and doing this series of reviews in which I try to give you as much detail um, as possible from from these sets um, so um, it's time to take them out of the box uh, these boxes though are my preferred displayed uh, um, you know um form or the my prefer uh displaying box in a way because they're super cool and then they have like almost 360 if you take the cardboard in the back and it's just like so really well done when compared to other boxes anyway here is the dust cover in which we can appreciate the artwork that was used the concept uh artwork for mulan and shang um and she's she's actually so so pretty um and i you will see that um it's been translated into the dolls so incredibly well she's wearing the matchmaker uh dress but so much more embellished and this is the kind of collection i'm always saying this in which um I don't think um, fans will be disappointed at all because it's basically um, how we picture these characters but in a more designer slash uh, super embellished uh, way, um, like a luxurious way. I would say, but nothing. It's it's not a new take or anything like that. It, they they try to to um, keep the essence of how we already um, picture these characters, which is completely different from the Ultimate Princess Celebration line, for example, which um, is giving us complete new takes on the princesses, uh, reimagination of them um, in, the con in the contemporary world, celebration with different, you know, designers for each particular one. But this is the one that if you want to sort of like collect a really pretty limited edition, uh, super embellished, doll of a character you like i would say the design of fairy tale it's the one for you so okay so we have uh that then on the base we can read mulan and li shang and then he has this beautiful textured brocade all around in black and uh gold and then in both sides we have the same artwork they're just like beautiful. I actually collected the lithographs that were released at the time, which have a different measure, uh, but it's basically the same piece of artwork and uh, it's just so, so beautiful. Um, they look so amazing both in the cover and um, in the shape of dolls as well as in the lithographs and stuff. They also release journals and mags and things like that. So anyway, here is the back and as you can see in 2014 the retail price was like, I remember um, I was living in the UK at the time as I was just finishing my degree over there and um, and I remember having this one on my hands um, and and just thinking that it was a little bit expensive, uh, but because it's been like, yeah, eight years already, I think, yeah. Um, because the, the, the prices for eight years have not changed as much, I believe. Uh, I mean, it retailed for 100 Great Britain pounds or 120 euros. And right now, any other limited edition one, it's about the same price or a little bit more than that it's true that here we're getting two dolls the male 
those though are not incredibly over the top so taking that into account i don't think that the prices have changed massively for the time being but anyway that's that's there um and then here at the time they were only producing this introduction and detail section in both um english and french and now they incorporated spanish which i think is amazing because obviously there's so much so so many more fans and collectors in the world that would speak spanish um so that is crazy amazing uh but i'm going to be reading the english uh part of it uh for you because it's always so so cute so with strength and determination mulan defies expectations of what a hero should be uh, through a selfless act of courage she brings honor to her family and country and an unexpectedly finds love along the way. Stunning and elegant in her red and blue satin gown, Mulan wins the heart of Li Shang with both her beauty and her bravery, proving that true love conquers all. And then right here we have a close-up of Mulan, the dress, and both of them together. And this one is referring to Li Shang. And so it says, Beautiful lotus flower elegantly adorns her long black at period. <laughs> and I think it should have said her long black hair. Rich blue satin corset over soft coral pink chiffon blows. Uh, blouse, uh, ruffled turquoise color gently frames her face, um, lilac purple chiffon shawl hangs gently over traditional long draped sleeves, uh, crimson satin skirt is intricately embroidered with gold and red floral details, and for Li Shang, royal red cape with smooth satin lining, a uh, striking black textured tunic with gold piping details complete this brave soldier's uniform. Um, so that is everything we can read uh, for this couple. I'm going to uh, take the cover out and uh, maybe the uh, the, the metacrylate um, plastic cover so you can see how they are displayed on the box uh, and then I will proceed with the full unboxing. Well, and these are the dolls and um, how they're displayed uh, inside of their box. Uh, they actually look incredibly stunning. They're very close to how they look in the artwork or conceptual art. And uh, this is how I've had them on display for many years. But as I said, it, it was just about time to take them out. Um, and well, I mean, th th this box actually has um, um, built in stand. So um, they will be able to get back to the box if I wanted to. And that is pretty cool. Uh, but as I said, again, uh, they're really nicely displayed, protected. Um, these boxes are everything and this uh, couple is one of the prettiest uh, in my opinion um, they just look so so cool so now I will proceed to uh, take them out of the box carefully and I will get back to you with all sorts of details well I thought it was worth it to also uh, share with all of you um, how they're displayed without the glare of the plastic and so I can just um, show you all the different angles uh, again they're pinned um, with these pieces of plastic uh, to just um, you know be in this uh, position um, as I said he has sculpted her as opposed to rooted her and I will be comparing him to that first edition classic doll with rooted her and um, they just look so beautiful. We can see that the mermaid shape um, dress for uh, this matchmaker interpretation for Milan, it's quite big and I think it's going to look amazing out of the box. And then in the back, um, we have um, 
the limitation number and then a little bit more of the artwork the brocade um the mask uh sort of like background as well um and yeah this is this is everything this is how i mean they're pinned in place everywhere so it will take me a few minutes to take them out uh but that's what i will do right now and then yeah now i uh, i promise i'll be back in no time well and here we have them both out of the box and these dolls are stunning they are so precious and the details although you can appreciate the details on the dolls when they are displayed inside of the box um i think that as always is just so much more noticeable and um easier to appreciate when they're out and I love them. I love them both so much. I previously said that he has a very basic, um, you know, uniform, uh, but in reality, the fabrics that have been used are um, another level of quality when compared to the classic dolls. And her, um, we will start with her. She's just so, so cute. Um, she has just the exact, um, you know, length for her rooted lashes. I very much hope, uh, like how the her lotus uh, her accessory is sitting there. Um, she has long hair, not incredibly long, to be honest, uh, but long, like just like normal, I would say. Or a little longer than a classic doll, I would say. And then um, there are these two pieces um, being um, held in the back with an elastic that it's almost disintegrating already. So I think I will be changing that very soon, probably with thread. Um, that will help. And then she has these two tendrils uh, on the front. They are just um, hanging um, loose with a wave and these are the only pieces that have a little bit of gel. I love her face, I love how she's looking to the side, um, a little bit shy and timid, you know, and uh, it completely goes with the matchmaker sort of like look that she's having. The dress is beautiful, The well... The hair accessory is incredibly nicely painted. We've got um, these um, um, accessories so many times uh, for the fashion set, for the uh, play set, the tea ceremony play set. But this is the, the one that is, um, you know, best uh, painted, um, yeah, when compared to the others. And then she's having these, um, well, the dress, what can I say? Uh, there are different pieces that Velcro in the back, such as the um, blue piece, then the red uh, satin uh, piece as well. Those are separate and and then um, the rest is basically the uh, dress that has a lot of embroidery. I mean, the color with the ruffle, um, turquoise color it's just so so beautiful um and then the embroidery couldn't be more beautiful with all these flowers and you know design it's just incredible and then um she has this super long um drape pin uh sleeves uh that in reality are close to how we see it in the animation because she has super long sleeves and they're made out of this organza material that is just so cool the rest is like uh satin um very vibrant um the colors are very vibrant as well as the embroidery um and then the embroidery is gold red and royal blue and then the um bottom part of the dress has like these um mermaid shape uh that opens and that it has a bit of a trail um if we were to place her like to the side you can see how uh, big it is um, and it's really nice fabric with this foil printing um, on top of it 
and I love it. I love how it flows. I love how it moves. I love the, you know, the pattern that they've chosen. Uh, then she's having the shawl uh, that I actually kept with these pins around. Otherwise, um, it would have like slipped down um, very, very easily. Um, and it's the same material as the sleeves. Uh, so it's this organza is, is, you know, it's really nicely done. There are two layers and is nicely finished. Um, and then she has this super articulated body, well, super articulated body with knees and ankles and all that. So even though she's having slippers, I don't mind because she has the articulation. So if I were, um, if I wanted to, to use heels on her, she could definitely, uh, wear them. But I think these are super suitable for Mulan. Uh, they're in scarlet red color and um yeah she's just so so beautiful and then li shang um again i would have changed um or added um rooted hair especially for these you know uh, luxurious uh, release uh but the outfit is pretty cool i mean this cape is everything it's like it has like a velvet oh i forgot to take um one of the ties it's super big as you can see super duper big it has all these um velvety finish on the outside and it's uh this very uh vibrant red um in very soft satin on the inside uh so it's a super um big cape that we don't normally get for um, i mean normally it's like very short it's just one layer of a plasticky sort of fabric and then it has this tunic with this pleather material the um uh, piping uh, motives and then is this very the rest of the material the calves are pleather as well and then the the rest of the material is this very thick cotton uh, for both uh, the sleeves this part of the tunic it all velcros in the back and then it has this very thick cotton uh, pants as well and these are the boots with the gold accents so yeah um an incredible couple so happy i took them out of the box so happy to be sharing it with all of you um so i very much hope you've enjoyed this review and you've uh found it helpful and uh enjoyable and if that's the case don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will be super happy to get back to all your comments um and there's there's so much more coming up so um i would actually stay tuned for that for now stay safe and i'll see you all very very soon bye bye